Welcome to the podcast that's been named one of the very best in marketing research. Research Business Daily Report is made possible by our exclusive community at the crowdfunding platform, patreon.com forward slash rbdr. I'm Bob Letterer for more than 25 years, the respected voice in market research. We continue today with RBDR's continuing series, Market Research in the COVID-19 Era. This is episode number 39, conveying actionable knowledge pertaining to research in this coronavirus crisis is our everyday goal. And so today we have Engine Insights Managing Director David Albert, who details the coronavirus's effects on B2B versus B2C research. Albert also spotlights consumers' very interesting take, their positive attitudes towards brands that they interact with and purchase. David? Thanks, Bob. We conduct primary research among B2C and B2B audiences. We've had some projects delayed, though many are continuing, and we have learned quite a bit about response rates and participant sentiment as a result of the COVID-19 crisis. Now, there are big impacts with B2B audiences, with more B2B than B2C project delays. And that impact is nuanced. For example, B2B projects focused on food service employees have been paused as these workers are either strapped for time, furloughed, or laid off. So it's clear now is not the time for research with any industry which has been disproportionately impacted, such as hotels and restaurants. And B2B contact rates have notably dipped due to businesses being permanently or temporarily closed or short-staffed. As a matter of fact, because we are reaching more answering machines and a higher rate of no answers, much of our phone-based B2B projects are on pause. Now, for some of our B2B tracking work, we shift the data collection to later this year. And we have projects with client-supplied sample, and that sample ages, so we're assessing the age-out impact. Now, interestingly, there have been minimal impacts on C-suite audiences and decision makers, such as those in IT. And in the healthcare industry, B2B research is anything but impossible these days, but it also is nuanced. Research among healthcare professionals in regions with higher COVID-19 infection rates is more difficult to conduct with declining response rates. Healthcare professionals whose specialty or function is not directly related to treating COVID-19 patients are generally more accessible. In switching gears, we're experiencing a more positive impact with consumer audiences. Response rates, both online and with telephone, are strong. In fact, declining phone interviewing response rates have flattened out a bit, and consumers who don't normally participate are answering their phones and joining panels. We're not seeing changes in survey response times or survey length. Speeding is no more than in the past, nor is there a change in responding complaints about survey length. Engagement in research is up. In our market research online communities, which we call Hives, there was a 66% increase in engagement in April. About six in 10 consumers we surveyed are open to helping brands learn more about recent customer experiences or help them create future services. And this is encouraging because brands are going to need consumer feedback and input. Co-creation is going to be of special importance for new consumer journeys as behaviors shift and how people engage with brands and shop for the things they need and want. As one consumer put it, even in hard times, companies need to continue to innovate and improve their products. Doing this research assures me that, we, that they are doing that. And finally, on the consumer front, people think more favorably of brands that ask for their opinion. About 50% of consumers we surveyed would be more favorable towards a brand that asked them for their input into the innovation and product improvement. As one consumer put it, they need to focus on what the future may bring after this pandemic, as in more online shopping, drone delivery, et cetera. And to help brands support innovation, we are looking to restart our in-home use tests. Given some general supply chain challenges and the need to ensure staff safety, we've been rethinking how to implement IHOTS. It'll take client collaboration and some flexibility, but we hope to get these projects back on track soon. Consumer research is viable and can be conducted with no negative impact. It may even create a positive experience for the consumer, creating a stronger consumer brand relationship. This series requires your input, so please organize your thoughts and observations about COVID and research, and then decide that you want to partner with us. Because if you email your impressions and feelings to me, rflbob at gmail.com, 
we will guide you through a very simple and very, very effective process that will transform your perspectives into a video commentary like the one you've just seen. And it'll be something that will make you and your business proud. Research Business Daily Report is made possible by our exclusive community at the crowdfunding platform patreon.com forward slash rbdr. We appreciate that so many research executives, including you, make it a habit to watch RBDR when we release it Monday through Thursday most weeks. And we hope you agree with a lot of research executives who feel that watching this is time well spent. If you do, you can help us by recommending RBDR to friends and peers. It's really easy to forward it. And we hope that you'll consider becoming an RBDR Patreon supporter because that is our lifeline. It means committing a monthly donation of any size, perhaps as little as $5 a month for companies, perhaps somewhat more, because it'll reassure C RBDR's continued existence. And you can do that and help us at patreon.com forward slash RBDR. As I've mentioned over and over again, the virus doesn't seem to be going anywhere soon. We don't even know if it's going to come back this fall, perhaps even in 2021. So we're going to be here for the foreseeable future, providing you with this series, Market Research in the COVID-19 Era. It has made a very positive impact on the industry. Have a great research day. We hope you have had a profitable research week. Let's hope we all have a great and safe weekend. And we will look forward to seeing you back here with us next Monday.